Hello and welcome back to Vlogalog, the show where everything's made up and the points don't matter. That's not inaccurate. I'm a day late in getting this out. I feel terrible about it. I'm all broken up about it. So, you know, leave hate comments in the comments. That, hmm, words. Ah, uh, ah, 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 vlog, log. Hi, I'm here now. We're, we're making a video. Uh, kick, wrapping up last week, kicking off next week. Same thing that we do every Friday, except today we're not doing it on Friday. So, yeah. Uh, so, previous week we talked about home, and, uh, DK called me out on some stuff. Uh, Pointing out that when I talked about home, I talked about New York City, like the the area, the city, and not like home, like the home place. Um, and he started to talk about the difference about when he thinks about home. And I actually found this interesting because he said that when he talks about home, he thinks of the place where he grew up and where his parents live now. And uh, I guess for me, that, that uh, I... I, I, I I, I used to feel that way, um, and I'm surprised now because I feel like, um, and Niall just had, freaking had a crazy emotional, like, oh man, needed a soundtrack video. That's not a criticism, that's a compliment. It just came off as like, oh, you should have put on a blah, would have been better with blah. No, that's not what I, you know what I mean if you watched the video, guys. Um, but I, I think when I when I was growing up, uh, yeah, certainly the, the house that I grew up in, which we moved out of when I was 12, 13, which was traumatizing, but that was home to me. Um, and then we moved to Wisconsin, and then that home eventually became home to me. And I remember at, at some point I was away in college, and I came back, and my parents had, like, done this whole, like, big redecorating thing, and I'm like, cool. Uh, but now, at 2 in the morning, when I sneak up to get snacks, I don't know where anything is. And it's still funny, because, like, I'll go home and I'll be like, remind me, where are the glasses again? Because I don't know. So it's like, I, I, so I remember having this period where I'm like, whoa, it's, it's weird. I don't, I can't return home, because it's not, it's not the home that I remember. Uh... Yeah, I, I, I just, because I, I, I mentioned this because specifically there was this point where I'm like, uh, this isn't, this isn't quite home, because this isn't, this isn't the thing that's in my brain as the home, home, is the, the, the trappings that we throw on that word. In fact, I remember, because whenever I, whenever I travel or anything, uh, my mom likes to receive a text, and if she doesn't, she gets very, very concerned that when I get somewhere, I'll be like, I'm not dead! Uh, yay! I love you! And so I got into this matter, just, you know, as soon as I get got back to Eau Claire when I was going to college, or even now when I fly home to New York, or actually, my parents came to visit me around my birthday, and they were staying about six blocks away at a hotel, and my mom asked me, she's like, would you just text me when you get... When you get back to your apartment, just, just so I know. Um, but I remember that in college, there was this point where uh, instead of texting back, like, I'd say, oh, I made it back to made it back to campus, I I think accidentally at first said, I made it back home. And I was like, whoa. Because uh, that's a semantics thing. And all of a sudden, the idea of home uh, became, like, and I think maybe this has always been the case. Maybe home has always just been, like, my room. The place where when the world goes to shit, I can run away and hide out. It's my safe house, right? Uh, anyway, I spent probably too long talking about uh, last week's stuff. But home, yeah, it's an interesting concept. And I, I, I was really fascinated to see what everybody uh, had to say about uh, you know, both the areas that they live in and the places and the, just the kind of the whole concept. Um, but I want to, DK brought up something about people in small towns complaining about how, oh my god, it's so boring. I wish I lived in a bigger city. Uh, and it got me to thinking about what does boring actually mean. Uh, personally, I don't think I ever get bored anymore. 
Uh, I feel like I live at a certain high octane level, and that's not, I don't look like I'm like, high octane. I'm, uh, what I mean is I'm constantly busy, I'm frantic. Uh, I'm always a few months behind every day. Like I wake up and I roll over and I grab my Nexus 7 and I look at all of the emails and all of the things and I go, oh my god. And if I can't fall back asleep and hit the snooze button a few more times then I get up and I'm just like frantic, go, 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 go. Even on the weekends, uh, usually I'm either behind on work or I'm behind on other stuff. Um, I don't feel like there's time to get bored anymore. Um, and it occurred to me that even the things that we tend to do to relax, um, you know, watching TV or playing video games or whatever it is, there's so much of it now that feels like, um, you know, I'm watching this show because it's a culturally relevant thing. I can't sit down and watch something and zone out. I have to watch out, watch, sit down and watch and pay attention. Okay, this is something uh, that I should know about or feel like you know, I can learn something from this. Um, that he, just the things where there's that whole vision of because uh, you had the 50s America you know atomic family home thing and I think then there's kind of the 90s maybe uh, feeling of like you know you're working from 9 to 5 and the guy comes home and drinks beer and watches football uh, and then passes out and gets up and goes to work in the morning uh, I think is it just me or is that gone now too I don't know, I, I can't, I, I, it's been such a long time since I've ever had the opportunity to just space out. Even when I'm doing semi-relaxing things, my brain is still stressing out and kind of working, putting a whole bunch of things on the back burner, trying to work them all through. So I guess I have a question for all of you guys, and that is, uh, what is the pacing of your life right now? Is, I'm curious because this could just be a me thing, uh, which case I should probably see a doctor or something. I don't know, but I mean, are you? Do you find that you still have time <laughs> to get bored? Do you find that you are able to relax? Do you find, or, or you know, if you're like me, do you find that um, even the things that are relaxing are I, I guess if I were best to describe it, it's really just like I'm working at 50% efficiency, right? Um, yeah, because personally, I feel like it's it's more of a change, uh, a change in, in the culture that I'm in. Uh, a lot of lot to do with technology and stuff, uh, and just you know, kind of having to be constantly on than it is uh, just a matter of growing up or a personality quirk. Um, so yeah, that's. The theme today, this week, pacing, which I'm not doing good, uh, which I'm not uh, doing well, uh, it, exemplifying well in this video. So talk about pacing, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>